everyone, Lizzie Marie here with The Sparrow's Nest, and welcome to my channel, Simple Living with DIY Projects and Delicious Dishes. So today, I have my friend Vanessa again, and she's gonna help me with another fun DIY project. So today, we're gonna be doing an empty frame art wall decor. And Vanessa's laughing because we tried to say that. And 500 just... times. <laughs> And we could not say it. We kept saying empty frame art wall decor. No empty frame. Yeah. Anyways, today we're going to be showing you empty frame wall art decor. <laughs> I went to Goodwill and I purchased a whole bunch of frames. And so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to take um, this glass and all this stuff out of the frame when you get them from thrift stores because they come with a whole bunch of funky stuff that you need to um, need to work with to take out. And I'm also going to be showing you how to make your own chalk paint. Vanessa has not made chalk paint before so I decided that I'm just going to do this from literally start to finish. And I'm going to chalk it up to experience. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to bend these little prongs back. Now sometimes the Goodwill picture frames, they will come with staples, so you do the same exact thing. And once I'm done bending all these back, I'm gonna take the picture frame and the piece of glass out and I'm gonna take some pliers and I'm just gonna remove all these little metal thingies, whatever they're called. These are pretty easy to take out. Okay, so Liz, do we need to sand these? Vanessa, that is a great question. <laughs> What is great about chalk paint is we do not need to sand this. So chalk paint, you can completely skip the step of sanding, which is messy and no fun. So that is what is great about chalk paint. And it just sticks to it really good. Yeah, it just sticks right over it. And then we're gonna seal it with like a polycrylic finish so it seals everything in. Does that answer your question, Vanessa? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, can we paint now? Yes. Okay. To make chalk paint, I'm going to be using calcium carbonate, 8 ounces of latex paint. So I want 2 tablespoons of calcium carbonate. You can find the link for what I, the calcium carbonate in the description box below. I'm going to use 1 and a half tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to use a popsicle stick and I'm going to mix it. And then I'm going to add my 8 ounces of latex paint and then I'm going to mix it really well. I like to not waste my popsicle stick, so I take a paintbrush and I color my popsicle stick so that I have a sample of my color. And like I said, you can find the calcium carbonate I use in the description box below. Now we're going to take the chalk paint that we made and we are going to paint our picture frames. And here I'm just showing you, you just take the chalk paint and you do not have to sand. You just paint it right over. I usually paint about two layers of chalk paint. And then to seal it, I'm going to use polycrylic protective finish clear matte. Once the chalk paint is dry, you just take some of this polycrylic protective finish and you paint one layer over your frame. If you really want, you can paint a second layer for extra protection. And then this takes about two hours to dry. Once all my frames are painted and sealed, I'm going to arrange my picture frames to how my creative tastes see fit. So I really like how this is looking, and now it's time to put it on the wall. 
So what I did is I first just like hammered some nails in the wall and I put some of the frames up as a foundation. And then I used a nail gun to start layering. So I just used a nail gun and I layered all the picture frames on top of each other. I also used the nail gun to nail some of the pictures um, into the wall too. Just to make sure that it stayed on the wall and didn't fall down. So here is the end result and I'm really happy with it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.